And welcome back to Second Cup on WTXL.TV. I'm Brian Jackson. I'm joined by Luis Abad and Lauren Mosley from the Filipino mm -hmm. community. You guys have a great celebration coming up this weekend. But first, let's talk about you guys have definitely dressed the part this mm -hmm. morning, right? Uh, yes, sir. Um, we got, I got here this uh, Barong Tagalog. It's a formal dress of the Philippines. Okay. Uh, think of it like a suit and tie you'd wear here in America. So you've got, like, if you were going to, let's say, like a wedding or just general business attire. Oh. So this is what you would wear? Yes. This is made of a pineal, like, pina fabric. So, yeah, very nice and soft, soft yeah. and very breathable because it's hot in the Philippines. Yeah, it's pretty hot <laughs> here, breathable. too, these days, too. Mm -hmm. And how about for yourself? And um, this is a mestiza dress, and it has the traditional Philip um, butterfly sleeves with the um, silver embroidery um, appliques. Now, will you guys be wearing these on, uh, on Saturday for this event? Uh, I, or are you going to be dressed down a little bit more? I'll be dressed out a bit more. I don't, <laughs> don't want to mess this up. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, this is the a eighth annual, now is it pronounced the annual Pista? Uh, Pista Sanayam. Pista Sanayam. Mm -hmm. Event, uh, and it's hosted by the Big Bend Filipino American Association. So, what can folks who kind of come out on Saturday, what can they expect to see? Um, we have uh, food vendors that they sell food, um, different costumes just like this, and um, we have the um, the Filipiniana fashion show that's okay. going to be new this year. Uh, we're bringing that back, and there's going to be Philippine uh, folk dances, and um, we have Zumba also, and uh, dessert contests, karaoke contests. Wow! Lots of fun. Now this fashion show, what are we going to see? Are we going to see tradition, hmm. traditional gear, or what? What can we expect to see during this fashion show? Um, just a Filipiniana fashion show, gowns just like this with the traditional butterfly sleeves. And this is going to take place between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. on September 14th. That's this Saturday at the Kleeman Plaza in uh, downtown. Yeah, downtown Tallahassee. It's going to be a, a really good time. So what types of foods are going to be available? You mentioned some of some food uh, vendors are going to be there mm -hmm. as well. So we have uh, some traditional foods, such as we have like the lumpia, which is like a, an egg roll, uh, egg roll made with pork. And we got uh, we got our pancit. Uh, Pretty good noodles, kind of like a lo mein, but like Philippine style. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot of savory, sweet food. And uh, you mentioned uh, a dessert contest. That's kind of what what kind of caught my eye. I'm mm -hmm. uh, got a little bit of a sweet tooth here. Mm -hmm. And and is this one? It's called a reverse dessert contest. Where did you guys come up with this concept? And can you explain it to me a little bit about what's um, going to happen here? Well, for the dessert contest, it's five dollars to join to be a judge, and um, you pick your top three, and whoever um, wins. Yeah, and it says uh, like uh, the judges pay a five dollar fee to taste and vote for their favorite dessert. So, what kind of desserts are we kind of expecting? And to so, see? we got uh, Filipino families and also American families to come in for their home desserts. And uh, you shall see when you come out there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you also mentioned that MCs will be talking about your Filipino culture. So, how would you describe the Filipino culture here around the Big Bend? I say Filipino culture here at the Big Bend. It's like a giant family. Everyone kind of knows everyone. Everyone gets along, you say hello, you hey, tita, hey, tita, that means the uncle, aunt. Okay. Everyone, it's like a big family. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a dance contest in Zumba. Is gonna be, are you going to see you guys compete in that as well? Uh, we'll see. Yeah. I'll be She's in, a better dancer than me, so I'll yeah. be the one watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and uh, the proceeds for this are going to go to area high school and college students as well. And um, you're going to hoping to raise with $500 in grants and sponsors and scholarships. So it's going to be a really great time. As this, how much is this event to attend it on Saturday? This, attend, uh, this event is actually free to attend. So bring family and bring friends mm -hmm. and yeah, it'll be a great time. All right. All right. And uh, like I said, it's coming up on Saturday, September the 14th. And it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's going to be at the Cleman Plaza at 305 South Duval Street. It's free to attend. We'll have this information for you guys on our website as WTXL.TV. Thank you so much to Lauren and Abad. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It's going to be a great time. Uh, hopefully, we may see you guys out there on Saturday. Yeah, thank you for having us. We'll have much more of Second Cup coming up right after this short break.